All right, here we go. <clears throat> this section is on something called arithmetic, looks like arithmetic, right? Arithmetic sequences. And what we're really talking about is things that are linear. So if you look in blue, I've got a sequence going there. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. We're counting by what? Twosies. So it's like linear, right? We're going 2, 2, 2, 2. Kind of like slope, right? We're going up 2, up 2, up 2. It's called an arithmetic sequence. The first term in this sequence is 3. The second term is 5. The third term is 7. Do you see that? And so we name these things A1, A2, A3. It doesn't mean that the third term is 3. It means 7 is the third term in our sequence. Get it? We go all the way out. And if you want some term way, way, way down the line, you can just generically say, hey, that's the nth term. It may be that I want to put 100 in there for n or 50 or whatever I want, but somewhere down the road, that red A sub n is the nth term in my sequence. Okay? Now, in green, here's a given problem. They may just say, look at that blue sequence and tell me the following, but they may give you information and say, hey, the first term is 3. Well, you knew that. D is what they call the common difference. It's what are we counting by? Okay? And in this case, it's twosies. So you go, okay, well, D is 2. They can tell us that, or you can look at it and go, the first term is 3 and D is 2. Okay, I get it. And now they go, hey, find the eighth term in our sequence. All right, so here's what you do. You have this little formula in black. It says the nth term is equal to the first term plus the common difference times the n minus 1. All right, relax, relax. Now, so we're looking for the eighth term. So I write a sub 8, get it, plus the first term, plus our common difference is 2, so I put a 2 in there, and n is 8 in this case, right? So 8 minus 1 7. Now hit pause if you have to and look at that. So in red, you go, okay then, the eighth term is the first term, which is 3, plus 2 times 7, 14, so the eighth term in that sequence must be 17. Let's go up and check. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. That's the sixth term. The seventh term is going to be 15. And the next term, 8, must be 17. Hey, we did it right. You may have to hit pause. You may just need to look at the uh, notation. It's not scary. You just have to take a second and do one. It's pretty simple. If you can do it, people will think you're a genius. Arithmetic sequences. Simple. Good luck. Boom.